Hello everyone and welcome back to my review show. It's been a while since I've done a video, but I thought I'd go back and do another review of the NES Classic Edition. Uh, earlier on the channel I did uh, the review of the, the system, but now I want to go through all 30 games. And I'll show some clips, not all of them, but uh, some of the highlights and talk about them all and give you my reviews on every game from this great system. Alright, here we go. Um, I have not played these games in a long time, so let's just see how good I am at them, and, uh, yeah, just try to remember this from my childhood. Um, some I have played somewhat recently, but, um, yeah, let's go. So here we go with Bubble Bobble to start off. Now, this game, I remember, was so much fun back in the day. Uh, I played this in the arcade a lot, um, especially two-player, but... I think, it, is it Bubs and Bob or something like that? These, like, mini dinosaurs and you shoot bubbles. Oh, yeah, and grab these candies and fruit. You gotta shoot bubbles out. Shoot them at these aliens or whatever they are. Pop them. Oh, this was so... Dead already. Uh, yeah, so much fun. Oh, yeah, when it came on the Nintendo, it was like, I have to have this. Yeah, grab all the fruit. What are those? Pickles. And back down to the next level, and so on and so on. Definitely giving this one an S. All right, next we have Castlevania. Oh, man, this game I played with my friends so much. Uh, wow. Simon Belmont, I believe his name is. Yeah, you got a whip, and you can uh, whip these things, get hearts, get power-ups, uh... Back then, I thought the graphics were just awesome. The music was awesome. Oh, Castlevania. Yep, definitely. Uh, Got to put this one in A. Classic. Played this game again. I remember in the arcade, I think, more than I did on uh, the NES. Yeah, climb up these ladders. You can grab a hammer. You got to jump over these barrels. I think you can smash them out with this hammer. Uh, pretty much just... Get up and save the girl at the top without a giant gorilla, Donkey Kong, getting you with his barrels. Um, yeah, I enjoyed this game quite a bit. I gotta put it in the B category. It, it's it's not a lot to it, but just um, you know, one of those classic games. So again, here we have Excite Bike. Ah. Uh, now, here's another one. Boy, I played a lot of games in the arcade, um, and then they were brought onto the Nintendo, and I just love them. And this is one of them. I played this, uh, again, a lot in the arcade, but uh, with my friends playing this, oh, man. See, I can just pick this up and have great memories uh, of this game, overheating my bike, trying to get over jumps. I oh, love it. Definitely uh, got to give this one an A, Sight Bike. So now comes Galaga. You know, this one is um, pretty simple. Uh, it's just a shooter. Um, down at the bottom, you shoot, uh, was it aliens? I don't even know. Spaceships? Yeah, look like aliens. Oh, man. Yeah, I played this game a lot. Uh, pretty simple, but I would put it in the, definitely in the classics uh, category. And... Um, Again, played this in the arcade a lot. Uh, definitely going to give this one... Uh, I'll probably give this one, just for nostalgia, a B. Okay, here we go. Ghost and Goblins. Alright, so this game... Uh, yeah, as you can see, definitely I remember this being a hard game. Oh my goodness, I'm already dead. This is one of the hardest games I remember playing. Um... I don't think I, as you can see, I don't think I ever got past maybe three there or four. Wow. I really like this game, though. Also played it on the Genesis, I think it was called Super Ghosts and Goblins. Um, but yeah, I'm going to still give this one, I think, a B. Okay, here we go. Mega Man 2 is on this game. Now, Mega Man, I remember having uh, on the original Nintendo, I bought... Uh, when I was a kid, and um, let's just pick Bubble Man here. You can just choose uh, whichever level at first here. And um, I remember this game being aw awfully hard too. 
Um, wow, look at that. That's kind of hard to, to look at. The background there, but... Um, yeah. Things just fly out at you. It's You try to jump out of the way, but they, they catch you. Uh, oh! Yeah, I guess you gotta jump there. Um, boy, how many Mega Man games there are, I'm not exactly sure. Um, definitely remember having the first one. I think I had this one. Ah, I gotta get these power-ups. Yeah, these little frogs just keep getting it. Ah, this is a very frustrating game. Definitely don't think I ever finished... Oh, this one. But uh, definitely liked it when I was younger. I'm just gonna give this one a, a B. Okay, here we go with Metroid. Love this game. I uh, just thought the, uh, the gameplay was great. Um, good action. Graphics were awesome, and not sure how exactly you get up here. I have not played this game in a long time. Um, for some reason, I think you got to go back over here, do something. And aren't you able to able to get turn into a ball and roll? Oh my goodness, I have not played this in a long time. Anybody know what I'm supposed to do? How do I turn into a ball? Where am I supposed to go here? I don't remember. All I remember this game is great. I'm still going to put this... I'm going to give this one an A. Um, I just don't remember. Somebody help me. I'll get back to playing it again another time. But yeah, I remember this being a really good game. Now we come to Ninja Gaiden. Gaiden? Whichever way you pronounce it. Um, it's a ninja game, and, um, back in the day, boy, this was pretty awesome. I remember being able to play as a ninja, um, now I, I think, yeah, you can jump onto the signs here, man. How, Jared, how do I get over? Jump! Jump! Okay, you gotta push to the right and jump, I think. Okay. Yeah, I have not played this one in a while. But I do remember it being a very good game. Uh, definitely going to give it an A. Uh, yeah. Playing as a ninja. Uh, fantastic. Okay, so here we go with... Yeah, one of the all-time greats. Uh, this may be my favorite game of all time, just because of nostalgia that I remember when I was a kid. Uh, my friend had the Nintendo, just got it. I didn't have one, and we had played this for hours and hours, um, being one of the first games. And still today, I love playing this game. I think this is maybe the one of the only games I remember finishing. I know I have done more. But uh, one of the greats, definitely an S. Now we come to Super Mario Brothers 3. For sure, it's, you'd probably say it's a better game than the other Marios. Definitely better than the second one, I remember. Um, this game was huge when it came out in stores, I remember. And... Um, yeah, it's it's similar in ways, but so many more add-ons. The graphics are better. Oh, we can come a raccoon. That's right. I can use my tail. Yep. And uh, now I've lost it already. Um, great game. Definitely um, remember this one. I'm definitely putting this into the S category as well. Super Mario Brothers 3. Ugh. So many good memories with this one, too. Oh, I think I'm supposed to jump on here and nope. Pushed it the wrong way. Okay, now we come to Tech Mobile. Man, do I have memories with this one. One of the first sports games. Now, tennis was the first game I remember getting. Um, but this was one of the, the first two, and this was a huge game back in the day. I was never a football fan, but playing this now... It's quite enjoyable. 
and brings back a lot of good memories. It was a very good game for the time. Definitely going to put this in the B category. So now we come to, obviously, Legend of Zelda, one of the greatest Nintendo games, Nintendo Entertainment System games, um, just all around video games of all time. Uh, boy, I uh, have not played this in a long time. That looks like Boomerang. So I have I have been playing this, a, boy, maybe a year ago, less than that. And um, just use your sword. So I don't exactly know what to do, where to go. I don't remember too much. All I remember it was great, uh, a great game, and obviously um, played many hours with my friends with this one. Definitely giving this one an S. Okay, so as you can see, there's more games available on this Nintendo Entertainment System Classic Edition Mini, and um, I've gone over a few reviews on them, but let's just go over it. There are some Ds on here that I don't uh, necessarily would want to play or think they're all that great. The D category would be Ice Climber, Balloon Fight, Star Tropics. I don't think I've ever played Star Tropics. I tried it. I'm not into those type of games. Uh, the C category, Donkey Kong Jr., Final Fantasy. Yes, Final Fantasy in there. I know it's a better game, but for me, it's a C. Not into those games. Gradius. Uh, boy, it is... It's almost to be Kirby's Adventure. Again, probably a lot of you would put this a lot higher, but um, just not a big fan of the Kirby games. Mario Brothers. Again, probably better than a C, but... For me, it is. Now we get to the B category. As I said, Donkey Kong. Double Dragon 2 is in there. Definitely Double Dragon is the better game. And probably would put that even A and S. Um, the second one is good. That's why I'm putting it there in the B. Dr. Mario. Uh, enjoyed that playing a lot when I, on the, the Game Boy. I think I had it. Um, Galaga, as I said, is a B. Ghosts and Goblins. Kid Icarus. Boy, I remember playing this game just like Metroid. A lot of fun, and I'd um, like to start playing that game a lot more again. Uh, Mega Man 2, uh, he's in the B. Pac-Man, I put in the B. It's, again, nostalgia. Uh, it's a very simple game, but it's a classic. It's there with Donkey Kong. Super C is in the B category. Uh, enjoyed it very much. It is so hard, though. It would be higher if it was a little easier and I do like the first game, Contra, uh, better. Especially when you can do the up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA, select, start. Super Mario Brothers 2 is in the B category. Some would say maybe that should be even lower. Um, but it's a Mario game. I can't put it lower. Come on. It's still a good game, but definitely not as good as um, many of the others. Tecmo Bowl is there. And Zelda 2 Adventures of Link. I didn't play that one as much as I played the first Legend of Zelda. Um... From what I remember, very good game though. In the A category, definitely Castlevania 1 and 2, Excite Bike, Metroid, Ninja Gaiden. And in the S category, the Super category, as I said, Bubble Bobble, Legend of Zelda, Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers 3, and definitely Punch Out. Mike Tyson's Punch Out, or later, just Punch Out. Um, so those are my reviews for the NES Classic, the 30 games included. And, uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think of some of these games and my uh, reviews. And uh, hopefully get uh, some more reviews coming soon. All right, have a great day.